who went to school and took, you took this in college, I'm not telling anything you don't know, but if you're hearing it for the first time, basically human beings do two things in life. I could actually boil this down to like this simple. We either seek pleasure or we avoid pain. It's really crazy, but that's all we do all day long. Seek pleasure, avoid pain. HR people, outside of a few people, are wired to avoid pain. Okay, so understand this. Do not go sell them opportunity. They don't, it's like blah, 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 blah. It's like Linus playing the piano. Don't make any sense. HR people avoid pain. That's why they go to HR. That's what they do. So all of you are sitting there go, how do we get there? You're never going to do it because you're not behaviorally wired that way. Every once in a while you get like an MBA guy or gal that says, you know what? I'm going to go fix that HR department. That's your early adopter because they're not wired that way. But like, I, like I said, 458 times I could tell you, like I could count how many people were not wired that way, like right here. And everybody else, it's just avoid pain, just avoid problems. I don't want to get fired, right? I want to get a seat at the table. It's like, I want, I want, I want, I want. Yeah, right. So, so think about that when you're structuring your pitch. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt, what I call the FUD factor, okay? FUD factor, that's how you sell to HR. And if you're lucky and you find a cool one, go, I'm sorry. And you start again. Because you realize that they're wired a little bit differently. But by and large, FUD. <laughs> Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. We call it the FUD factor. <laughs> Thank you, brother.